Hi folks. Uh, right, I, I want to do a, a sort of a hedgerow. I don't have a, a road path. I draw it out a bit. A bank. Some rough ground here. Going around the corner there. And some stuff here. Horizon about about there with some stuff at the back and maybe a bit of a a ploughed field there. But what I want to do is to show some trees coming up out of here with Sort of Roland Hilda-esque. He was a master of this. I learned a lot from him, but I won't tell you how long it took me to even come closer to one of his trees. I'm 75 now, and I started trying to do these before I was 30. But uh, but I sort of got there in the end. Let's have a big the trees getting bigger. All stuff for the rigger and a bigger one here. Now this is the uh, Saunders rough, uh, Saunders, sorry, Saunders hot press. So it's quite smooth. So a bit of bit of stuff here, maybe a, a fence. I'm not sure. A uh, bit of background. Uh, so there we are, we've got a, some trees there. Very simple, just an aid memoir just to do this. Um, I'm going to uh, wet the paper all over. I haven't changed my water from yesterday. And you might be pleased or not pleased to know that I'm preparing a couple more 24 by 16 boards for the oil paintings. I'm, I'm booked in to do a demonstration for my old art club. It's very big when I used to be a member. It's not quite so big now, but but when, when you if you if you want to join an art society and you have a choice, go for the one with the most members because they are more likely to be able to afford demonstrators to give a live show. Now, I'm, the last one I went to was some years ago. I, I don't belong to it now. But I was a member for 25 years, or thereabouts. <clears throat> and my last, the last demo I went to, they, they had clubbed together and bought a, a, a projector so that the artist could be painting flat, but there was a big screen above, so everybody could see what was going on. Lovely idea. But I'm going to do, do a, an oil painting for them, or probably two, because they're so quick, the, uh, the three or four colour ones, and they're lifting out, the, the illusion of detail, that um, I, I've, I've got a two-hour demo, or less about 20 minutes or so for business and a cup of tea. I always remember, oh, many years ago, before Edward Wesson died, he was a very a great favourite with Carl Schultz and Wellington Art Group. And our chairman then had several of, uh, had bought the paintings, the, the demo paintings that Ted did. And I remember t having a chat with him over a cup of tea half time. We were both smoking our pipes back then, but probably didn't do either of us any good. But, uh, but, but very enlightening, a, a marvellous demonstrator, a great teacher, and a, a, a great man, self-taught. I think he even played the organ in his local church around Guildford, where he lived, or oh, Shear. <coughs> All right, I'll put a bit of blue in that. 
but this will all die, die back so you can afford to go in a bit darker now I want to get in with some burnt sienna now clean it up a bit While the paper is nice and wet, you can do all this. Let's have a bit of bit of red over that. And now, a bit of a little bit of cloud. A lot of this is going to be covered up. So my favourite cloud is light light red. And a bit of ultramarine. So we've got a nice lot of colour in there, but as I say, it's going to die back, it's going to fade a lot. Take your clouds off the picture. Right, okay, now I'm going to reclip it. And and uh, give it a dry, fix it. Okay, headphones off or fast forward now. Okay, I'm going to use the small hake now, or the medium hake, and I'm going to mix a bit of, uh, I'll use that colour that's on the palette, a bit of, bit of grey, and uh, just put in some background, but want to fairly dry brush if you're sort of um, sort of starting out with all this and if you draw I use a 4B lead that thick propelling pencil I bought a while ago just a little bit in there don't gouge the paper just very very light touch same with the the hakes it's, it's just a just a very, very light touch. Even though this is a, a smooth paper or hot pressed paper, it's a wonderful product. It's only lightweight, but it's it's a superb quality. 
Now while that is wet, I'm just going to put a bit of dry brush, a, a light colour of a light sort of field colour, colour, just a just a, a dry brush, a sweep across, uh, mix it in with that grey. And into that, I'll uh, put in some ploughed field. So I plenty of sparkle in there. Uh, and I'll do the same, I'll do a bit of sienna over that mix. Touch of blue or a bit of grey. And do the same here. Try to miss and I'll try that off in a minute. Now we've got the path to put in so a bit of light red, a bit of blue. Okay, so there's our basics put in. I'm going to dry that now, give it a good dry. So take your headphones off again and I'll, when you see me move the thing, you'll know I've finished. So fast forward or something, go. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to use a, uh, I'm going to use one of my Kalins, was that Kalinsky? Yeah, no, this is Kalinsky Sable to do the balloon on the trees, but I'm, but I'm not quite ready to do those yet. I'm going to uh, put some detail in these trees at the back here. So I want some nice green. So I mix a bit of bit of paint, bit of uh, cad yellow, bit of burnt sienna, bit of blue. Well, oh, now we've got this. trouble is that this brush splits now. Just beef up the background a bit. Going back to the Carshall and Wellington Art Group, uh, great loss was Terry Harrison last year or over a year, over a year now. He was a great demonstrator, He's mostly acrylic, and he's, he had every trick in the book. Wonderful de demonstrator, very entertaining. But one of my friends on YouTube and Facebook uh, sent me some DVDs of him because my friend is, is, is sticking with acrylic. I, I've sort of abandoned uh, oil painting, uh, not oil painting, acrylic painting because I like very much the oil. I'm having a lot of fun with this uh, landscape. I'm not putting houses or anything in like that. 
that would detract from what I'm trying to to show is it's a lot of lifting out. A bit of a shenner in there. I've I've done a couple of these recently. Well, oh, okay. I was just going to lift out a bit of um, if it will lift out some. Might do these for a bit of grass because the, the paper doesn't lift out very well, but a little bit. Little bit. Right, I'll start to put in the background, the trees in here, or the, the balloons, I call them. It's a shorthand for lots of twigs in the winter. So they want to be bluish. And you don't want a lot of water on the brush. So a bit of a lizard. I will uh, Okay, that's one. I'm going to dry that. So we'll put the big one over it. So fast forward, go. Clean the brush. Now we want something with a bit of burnt umber in. So so a touch of a touch of paint. A uh, bit of darker stuff in here. So light coming from the right, we'll we'll have. Um, yeah, yeah. If I put a shadow that way. Okay, now we've got to, we've got to uh, detail that now, or create the illusion of. Uh, then we go to dry it, so I don't want the tr trunks disappearing into the wet. So go. Another good demonstrator we, we had years ago was uh, David Bellamy, not the biologist or the uh, but uh, the, the artist. 
and I took my book, uh, the art book I had by him, really good, and got him to sign it. And I bought a brush. Uh, I think I bought. No, I bought this brush from him. I was twenty-five pounds. I've never used it. Pro Art, extra large. It's a squirrel mop. It's a a wash brush. Very good, but it's, I can't remember if ever having used it. Okay, so now we're going with a bit, bit of Payne's Grey, a lot of Payne's Grey, and a bit of quite wet. And very loose. Well, no talking to this. Let's just wet that a bit. It's a bit, bit solid. Okay, now we're going with a bit of, bit of big stuff. Birth yeah, a bit of... Much warmer colour. Even a bit of greeny colour. I might put some ivy on this. Go a bit darker. Uh, light's coming from there, so, uh, from there. Yeah, that's right. Light's coming from there because the shadows go over the road. That's right. Just come up a bit. Got to get it, try and get these branches waggly.
Okay, well, I think we've more or less done enough there. Right, now we can get into the other stuff now. Um, get the small hake. And I start putting in some. Uh, well, let's, oh, let's get some umber and a bit of. Bit of bit of uh, umber and uh, Payne's grey and just we don't or overdo this. Just a few to give an impression that there's a lot of ploughed ground. Get the furrows sort of further apart down here. That'll do. Mm -hmm. And we'll have similar the other side. Well, I'm going to put a hedgerow. Okay, so there's our plough field, and I've got to put some hedgerow in now. Now I can use, I've got this, uh, well I did have, a very nice brush, uh, which I do like, it's uh, one of Frank Clark's uh, triplet, oh here it is, that might be a good brush for, like a small hake for doing the texture. So let's have a bit of bit of blue texture uh, at the other end. Blue and Payne's grey are good bedfellows. But you can see that, that even though it seems to be a smooth paper, it's not that smooth. Uh, we'll warm up a bit now. Mix, change your colours. Don't just have one flat colour, just Put some different bit of sienna, bit of yellow. And we can put some stuff in there and even a fence maybe. Anything that just makes that bit interesting. But we don't want any portraits of any particular thing. We want an overall impression. Oh, a nice bit of dark green. Okay. Let's do a bit over the other side, so we've got the, the blue in the background. Uh, 
and now some green First year, and it's just a bit of dark here. Roland Hilda was a master of this as well. Okay. Now we've put a bit of stuff in there, a bit of, bit of rigor work. Um, I'm going to use a sable again. Um, I'll use this one, this large one. Uh, I want, oh, we've got to dry that. Oh, right, hold on. I don't want the paint running now. I just want to drag down a little bit of a, a bit of texture. Uh, we'll put some shadow in now. Not too, not too heavy. So. Uh, Okay, well I'll just increase that bit of shadow from these trees here. Okay, so we've got, we've got the shadow, plenty of shadow coming from this hedgerow here. Uh, we'll, I'll use the hake and we'll put in a bit of a fence, a small hake, so just a bit of Just a sort of nondescript dark colour, bit of red in it. Bit of paint's grey. Okay, now we'll... Uh, Uh, we'll put in a bit of, bit of, uh, Okay, no shadow cast from them. Uh, put a bird in on my little rigger. Crows. Okay, so I've not connected everything up, I've just left it very loose and I'll put that in a mount. Oh, 
Ja, ja. Kaffee. Oh, there we are. There's plenty of contrast in there. I'll just raise you up. And... Right, there we are. Oh, maybe just a little bit of, bit of blue coming up there. Oh, that's uh, I do. No more than that. I wanted to show the blue trees or the distant trees behind the nearer trees, and that's how I've done it. Um, Oh, I was going to put a bit of gouache in, wasn't I? Right, well, let's do that. Uh, Catching a bit of light. Okay, so just a little bit of touches here and there. So light coming that way. Put a signature on it, I think it's worth a signature. Okay, well there we are folks, uh, hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching, <coughs> see you soon, bye bye.